come the date of birth, it's the date of experience. Welcome the date of birth, it's the date of experience. Welcome the date of birth, it's the date of experience. Welcome the date of birth, it's the date of your praise right quick and let this witch know let this demon or devil know Genesis chapter 40 Genesis chapter 40 Genesis chapter 40 I, I feel like having church and uh, I want to have church I, I need to have church I, I need to have church like an alcoholic need a drink Amen I need, I need to have church Genesis chapter 40 and it really starts at um, it really starts at verse number fourteen in Genesis forty. But think on me when it shall be well with thee, and show kindness, I pray thee, unto me. And listen to this: make mention of me unto Pharaoh, and bring me out of this house. Skip down to verse 20. And it came to pass the third day, which Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto all the servants, and he lifted up his, the, the head of the chief butler and, and of the chief baker among his servants, and he restored the chief butler under his butlership and gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he, he hanged the chief brother, the other one. He killed him. As Joseph had interpreted to them, yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forgot him. Somebody said, but forgot him. Say it again, but forgot him. Say it like you know what it means, but forgot him. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Come on now. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me. Come on. Jesus, I'll never forget. No. Well, how can I forget what you've done for me? How can I forget how you set me free? Forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No. Well, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. 
your shoulders. Somebody shout glory. I said shout glory. I want to have church. I want to glorify God. I want to lift his name. Come on, if 
you can't clap, you ought to be able to wave. You can't wave, you ought to be able to rock. You can't rock, you ought to be able to bob and weave. But everything that has breath ought to praise God up in here. I want to thank, I want to thank one of the most, <laughs> I want to thank, engineer if you give me a little help here, I want to thank one of the most impactful persons in my personal and professional development for this opportunity to stand behind this sacred desk. I was a young, young upstart, wannabe preacher. And I sat right over in this section over here and a man came out from the back and uttered the words on your knees this was prior to the carpet we had kneeling benches and kneeling benches hit the floor all over the sanctuary I said Lord I want to know that man and that was Bishop J. Delano Ellis. And so I want to thank him as well as my beloved Bishop, Bishop Timothy J. Clark. It is interesting how we celebrate people particularly and our mothers did such an awesome presentation. Give God praise for them. They gave such an insightful, educated presentation of a sneak preview, a sneak snapshot into the past of what it was like. And in this month where we're celebrating African American history, particularly the 50th year of the assassination of Dr. King. It is interesting how people can celebrate you and not know anything about you. you look at Dr. King, many people don't know his, his actual name was not Martin Luther King, it was Michael King Jr. And against his own father's resistance he changed his name to Martin Luther King when he became a minister at the year at the age of 12 years old distraught over his grandmother's death young King attempted suicide by trying to jump out of a second story floor when he and Coretta got married, because you could not get a room in the Holiday Inn or the Howard Johnson, they spent their first wedding night and their honeymoon in a friend's funeral parlor. At Dr. King's death, the autopsy revealed that though he was 39 years old, his heart had assumed the stress of a man 60 years old. He's the only U.S. citizen who never held an office to have a holiday named after him. And while many 
note his letter from the Birmingham jail. He went to jail over 30 times. Dr. King died with no financial assets, no will, no appreciable benefits from the five books or the speaking engagements. As a matter of fact, one of the main issues that his wife Coretta had with him is when he won the Nobel Peace Prize, well over $54,000 he received, he gave it away to help other organizations make their payroll. Rather than ride in a procession in a Cadillac or a Lincoln limousine, it was chosen that he would be put in an humble casket drawn by a mule representative of the Poor People's Campaign. So people like Harry Belafonte, who helped raise money for the King children, supported them not only in their childhood development, but made sure that they had a college education. And now, in our nation's capital, is a monument to Dr. King. It is on a drive known as 1964 Independence Avenue, the year of the Civil Rights Act in 1964. There, along with others, is this stone of hope that's symbolic to us, not just as African Americans, but as all people that Dr. King's dream is still unfulfilled. There are dangers in the dilemmas of dreams. Idealization and disillusionment are both equal parts of the human experience in, in what professionals call coping and dealing with disappointment. You need dreams to help balance your ideals as well as your disappointments because in this life rain does fall mm -hmm. it rains on the just as well as the unjust a specialist who is a psychoanalyst uh, dr hines cohort points out that small manageable experiences of idealization and disillusionment throughout childhood and into adulthood are necessary in order to manage the realities of life. According to him, you need both so that you have a sense of safety and a sense of your own capacity in spite of life's complexities. The psychological part of dreams teach us that dreams bring about hard work. Therefore, God has designed us to be able to release stress hormones through neurotransmitters and endorphins that relate to us and cause us to improve our mood and our state of mind because you can see one thing in your mind and another in your reality. I wish I had some praying people in here. You can, you can, you can, you can see one thing in your mind and another thing in your reality. That's why you can't let people play with your mind. Because at least you have one space in your life that you can maintain a certain level of both sanctity and sanity in the same place at the same time. Uh, somebody wrote it like this, you can have joy in the midst of sorrow. Do, do I have anybody in here that you have been in the midst of a stressful crisis, you've been in the midst of a storm, and in spite of what was going on on the outside, you had peace on the inside, and as a matter of fact, you had a peace that passed all understanding while everybody else was drinking Chirac, while everybody else was drinking Fuzzy Navels, while everybody else was drinking Sex on the Beat. You, were, you had your mind stayed on here 
him and he was getting you through it somebody just take a 20 second praise and give God praise for keeping your mind I said somebody give God praise for keeping your mind because I might have lost my money I might have lost my marriage I might have lost my job my car my but I didn't lose my mind and one of the things that will challenge your mind in the moments that I have left is is listen to me listen lean in because everybody don't want to hear this lean this in i'm, I'm just a guest preacher lean in i, don't, I want everybody to hear us talking just, just lean in is being forgotten you will be forgotten i drove all the way in six hours from chicago to tell somebody in cleveland you will be forgotten I'm going to say it one more time because you're resisting me because you're thinking after all that you've done to all you've done it to with all that you've given them the last thing people will do is forget you I'm telling you in your face it's the first thing that people will do is forget you you, 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 you will be forgotten by the people you are assigned to. You know who those people are. You know those, those are the people you just got. I just can't let them down. I just got to go by there and see them. I just got to see about them. I just got to look after them. If don't nobody else help them, I got to help them. And they are, in many instances, the first one. people that you are attracted to people you just feel like i just gotta be there i yeah i just i just i just got it's like they have a magnetism it's almost like they they they've got some type of hypnosis power over you i just gotta be there pe pe people 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 that you are assigned to people that you are attracted to and, and people watch this who are assigned to you won't leave you alone won't 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 leave look at somebody and ask you ask them why, why won't they leave you alone they they just they, they they there when you get up they there when you go to bed they're on your facebook page they're on your instagram it's almost as if you got one of those leg monitors from the probation department that they are able to track you they they know they know where you've been they know where you're going as a matter of fact they're sitting out there waiting for you to get out of church You'll be forgetting my people who are not obligated to you but obligated to somebody else. If they're not obligated to somebody else, Bishop Douglas, they're occupied by something or someone else. After all that you've done for them, now they have the convenience of now putting you on hold after you put all the stuff in your life on hold for them now they got the audacity to put you on hold tell somebody on your road they might be on your road they don't want to admit it but tell them you will be forgotten you you will be forgotten by people that you gave your best to I'm not talking about your second best. I'm talking about your best. I'm talking about you gave them a dress with the tag still on it because you went down and found out their size, their color. You, you did your best for this child and this is the very child that has the audacity to forget and call in somebody else mama and you still got his strict marks in your stomach. I wish, am I in the right place? Did I drive to the other child? you made their lives better no I said you made their lives better you took them not to another level you took them to a level they would have never made had you not been in their lives and they forgot you how do you deal with forgetfulness how do you deal with it because there's a bitterness that comes I don't care how, I don't, I don't care how many fruit of the spirit you got 
I don't care how many scriptures you've memorized. How much Holy Ghost you've been filled with. You're still human. Y'all ain't talking back to me. You're still human. Boy comes up, Jesus said, won't, won't, won't kiss Jesus. And Jesus said, hold, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, homie, wait a minute, wait a minute, dog, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, dog, wait a minute. You gonna betray me with a kiss? You ain't going to spit on my face and kiss me. <laughs> How do you deal with being forgotten? First, allow yourself to be yourself to yourself. Don't ever lose yourself over the people that let you go. Boy, I, I, I thought I was preaching at the right church. Don't ever lose yourself. Sometimes you have to give them a Baptist benediction. And I'm going to teach it to you. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we are absent from one another. Because one thing is for sure, you're going to need me before I need you. Because I know how to make it with or without. As a matter of fact, I've been down and God brought me back up. I've been broke and God put me back together. I've been lost and God found me. And if don't nobody else help me, God is my helper. Boy, somebody ought to holler, God is my helper. Oh, don't you allow yourself. You see, you got to remind people, it's not what I've done, it's what I've become, baby. You don't know what I've done, that's that, and that's good for you and me, because I'm able to forget those things that are behind me and press towards a higher mark. Look at somebody and just tell them, let yourself go for this year. Say, so just let yourself be you. Be you, baby. Talk to them, counsel them, talk to every personality up under that hat. Tell them, be yourself this year. Got you schizophrenic and paranoid. And after you allow yourself to be yourself to yourself, admit. See, this, this, this is the point right here. My wife and I should be able to just walk out to the parking lot and get in our car and drive on back to Chicago when I tell you this right here. Admit that you deserve better. See, the reason why you're not praising God is because somebody that made you feel like you can't make it without them and you can't get it without them. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed begging bread. And I want you to know 2018 is my year that I believe I deserve better. Lay your hand on five people and say, you deserve it, you deserve it. After all the hell you've been through, after all the tears you've shed, after all the pain you've endured, you deserve it. High five somebody, tell them, you deserve better. Admit it, admit it, admit it. Say, yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to yourself right quick. This is a talk to yourself free zone. Talk to yourself say, yeah, I deserve better friends. I deserve a better job. I deserve a better house. I deserve a better life. And this is my year to get it. Lay hands on yourself and say, yeah, I deserve it. You done mistreated me. Yeah, I deserve better treatment. You done tried to pull me down. Yeah, I deserve another level. You done tried to push me out. Yeah, I deserve it. Why do I deserve it? Because my Bible says he will bless me according to the desires of my heart. Somebody said, Lord, bless me with better. Hold on.
trying to help you. I'm almost, I just got, I don't think I can take too much more now. So part of this retrofitting of your faith, listen to me, you got to learn how to accept people just the way they are. A dog is a dog is a dog is a dog. So if I had delivered people, they'd be praising God. A snake is a snake gonna be a snake was born a snake gonna die a snake. A skank is a skank is a chicken head is a chicken head. A hater is a hater cause all haters do is hate you know when the liar open their mouth they lie soon as they say I'm gonna tell you the truth that's when the lie starts right there See, just because you bought the hair, that don't make it your hair. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to break the ice. I'm, I'm just trying, I'm saying what I'm, just because you wearing high heel shoes, that don't mean that's your real height. Part of this is the audacity to expand your capacity. Somebody do like this. Do it one more time. Tell your neighbors a neighbor. I'm enlarging my circle to get rid of squares. Now tell them if I didn't make room for you, it's because you don't belong in my circle. I'm only letting people in by invitation only. I'm not taking nothing from nobody. I ain't got to take it from this year because I got the audacity to tell you the same way you came is the same way you can leave. Joe said, Bishop, Tell them that you can triumph through rejection. See, we think other people cause us pain, but it's never an event or a person that makes us sad. It's how we think about it. How we think about it. Our feelings always come down, child of God, to how we feel about ourselves. As a man thinks, so is he. And the more secure we are, the less we are affected by what people do or say. Let me rewind. The more secure you are, in who you are the less you are bothered by what people say you are not we used to play a game we didn't have Instagram and Facebook and 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 and, and, and Xboxes we used to play a game when we got tired of, of, of what you were saying we would do something like this back to you yeah 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 some of y'all have forgotten that some of y'all have forgotten that. it was our way of letting you know no matter what you said about us it would have to be on you first before it would be on us practice on somebody you're going to use it this week look at them and say back to you See, every now and then you got to call everything that's not like God in your life a liar. You got to call cancer a liar. You got to call death 
a liar. You got to call depression a liar. You got to call frustration a liar. You got to call lack a liar. You got to have no money a liar. Look at somebody say you're a liar. Holler and say you're a liar. Not only is the devil a liar, but everything about him is a liar. Tell somebody it's a lie. So, I got to go here now. The pain of loss often, Douglas, uncovers our own sense of self-love. That no matter what we go through or endure, we don't gauge our success by how we are treated by others. We don't gauge our success by how we look outwardly, but it is how we look inwardly. You, you've got to get to the place where clothes don't make you, you make the clothes. And it don't matter what label is on the outside, what matters is what life is on the inside. And when we look outward to the number of friends, we break ourselves from the cane of dependence and the codependency that people give us in their approval so much so that when they pull the cane of dependence from us, we are stumbled and crippled and better yet stagnant because our growth cannot reach its fullest potential without their participation. But I remember somebody saying, if God be for us, he is more than the world against us. And so Joe told me to tell you, you got to stop blaming others for what you have to overcome. Because it's not your family, your friends, your finance, but it has to be your faith that shifts in such a way that you stop being resentful and you start being rejoiceful. That's why he says rejoice and again I say rejoice because rejoicing shifts you from a place of needing to a place of what I'm going to get. I wonder if there's somebody in here that's ready to shift. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor I'm ready to shift. I'm not going to be resentful. I can be rejoiceful and what problem that when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me I can let go of my past and reach over and claim my future did I tell you to shake your neighbor's hand shake your neighbor's hand and say neighbor I'm getting ready to go into my future and if you don't want to go with me let go of my hand but everything I put my hand on I'm taking it into the future. Lay your hand on five people and say, get ready for the future. You got a future in money. You got a future in prosperity. You got a future in healing. You got a future in deliverance. Every now and then, you just got to stir up your gift and claim your future. Joe told me to tell you, even when you're forgotten, don't you forget that you're always on the mind of God. Give God a praise, because I'm still... You got a little excited here now. I, 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 it's, it's time. It's time. I had enough now. I had enough. Joe said, "All I ask you to do this is what I ask you to do. When you get out, 
just speak up. Okay, okay, if you don't want to speak up, just speak out. Just say, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I was, while I was down there, was a guy down there, he was interpreting dreams. I don't know. Somebody should go down there and check him out. He's been down there a long time. He said, okay, well, you, you don't want to speak up. You don't want to speak out. Can you just, let me, let me, so you get it right. J-O-S-E-P-A, Joseph. If you could just mention, okay, if that's too much for you, I know you, you got a lot going on, Mr. Butler. I know you got a lot of cakes, Mr. Baker. Just tell them, Joe said, holla at your boy. Okay. If you're scared and you don't want to mention my name because my name might get you in trouble, just start talking about mass incarceration. Just bring my situation up and say, it's some brothers down there that's, that, that's been locked up for a long time and they ain't been before no judge yet and we ought to do something about their situation. Say, I ain't the only one, but if you just mention the situation, they come see about me. And nobody, he, they didn't even bring up a list and put Joe's name on the list. There is a sin called the sin of ungratefulness. You got to be careful when God has used people to help you at your lowest. That when you get to where you are, you don't forget to tell God, thank you for them. And I wonder, do I have anybody in here that God has sent some people your way that you don't mind giving God praise that he sent some people your way that when you were at your lowest, couldn't pray for yourself, couldn't help yourself, couldn't do nothing for yourself. They were there for you. But there are some people who have who have low to no attitude and others who have low to no aptitude they have no spiritual or mental capacity to even consider what God has used others to do for them I told you I'm done. I'm done now. One of the challenges you got getting through this month of celebrating history and finishing this year better than you started is when you are forgotten. Don't forget to remember your dream. I told you I was done. I, I don't know if you thought I was faking or what I... But when you are forgotten, don't forget to remember your dream. And in remembering your dream, don't block the dreams of others. If you got anybody on your road, look at them real quick and say, neighbor, whatever you do, for the rest of 2018, don't forget your dream and don't block my dream because your dream is for you and my dream is for me and what God has for me, it is for me and I'm not going to block you and don't you block me because God got a 
dream with my name on it. Put your hand in your neighbor's hand and said, neighbor, if you hold on a little while longer, the God of our dreams is going to bring you out better than you went in. High five your neighbor and said, neighbor, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Psalms 105 said, Joseph was locked down so long until the word came to him. And when the word came to him, it broke every chain. Look at your neighbor and said, neighbor, I hear chains breaking that have been holding you from your very best. I hear chains breaking, breaking through your nightmare, breaking through your disappointment, breaking through your pain. If you're next to somebody and you believe they got a dream, act like you got power and holler nightmare. Let my friend go. Nightmare. Let my neighbor go. Nightmare. Let my children go. Somebody holler. Let them go. 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 go. And the Bible paints this picture that after the man lost his life and Joseph was forgotten, his name came up in a conversation. Somebody should be praising our God because God is releasing your name in high places. God is releasing your name in high places. Slip your arm around your neighbor and say, neighbor, your name is being released to get what you need, to get what you want, to get what you got to have. Touch three people and say your name, your name. God gonna bless your name. God gonna anoint your name. God gonna praise your name. Anybody that's got a name, scream your name, shout your name, holler your name. Scream it, shout it, not only your name, but scream your family's name, your children's name, your mama's name, your daddy's name. Scream it, yell it, shout it, holler it. Look at somebody and tell them I got a name. I got a name. Tell them I got a name. Tell them I got a name. But look at Joe. Joe said, tell them one morning I'm having breakfast. But by the evening I'm having dinner in the palace. Breakfast in the morning in the prison. But dinner in the palace. Breakfast in prison, dinner in the palace, breakfast in prison, but dinner in the palace, breakfast in prison, but dinner in the palace, tell your neighbor things are about to change in a moment, in a twinkling, love and I, God, don't turn it. For me, somebody turn around one time and say the Lord is turning it for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Won't it 
forget the dream. Said, don't forget your dream. You might have to cry. You might have to suffer. He may not come when you want him, but he's always all the dreamers. Give God a praise for your dream. Give God glory for your dream. Give God praise for your dream. Leap for your dream. Jump for your dream. Dance for your dream. Clap for your dream. Dance for your dream. Jump for your dream. Scream for your dream. Shout for your dream. Dance for your dream. Shout for your dream. Scream for your dream. Dance for your dream. Dance for your dream. Dance for your dream. Dance for your dream. Forget your dream. Don't forget your dream. Go back to school. Start your business. Pay off your house. Go on vacation. Get it. 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 in the building do I have anybody who will run after your dream when I count to three break out and run one two one two three run 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 get it Run! Get it! Run! Get it! Run! Get it! Run! 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 A wonderful change. How many people in here believe this word was for you today? Give God the praise and the glory for the word. Don't, don't move, brethren, brethren, brethren. Don't move yet, don't move. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful change. When you have been forgotten, neglected, rejected, the root of bitterness can come in like a vine and steal every fruit and stunt your potential. Here's the last part of my assignment. If this word was for you and you've been prompted not to forget your dream, 
but you're like Joseph. I wanted to tell you for over 300 days, Joseph was forgotten. Day after day, week after week, month after month. And I'm ministering to someone in this room that has asked God, and it's just February, how much do I have to endure? But the race is not given to the swift or the strong. But there's a class of people who endure until the end. And somebody is on the brink of a breakthrough that God has designated for you. I want to pray for you if you're in this room. If you'll slide out of your seat and come to this altar and let me pray for you. It's a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you, Jesus. Has come oh over me. Oh, has come on. Now I want you to help somebody get this next impartation look at him and tell him your weight is about to pay off no no look look at him look at him look at him look at him look at them look at them look at them don't look so quick look at him and say I know what it looks like when you've been waiting for your turn your time and your season cause I've been waiting on my turn my time and my season but I just got the word that's breaking the chains that have been holding me back tell them one more time your weight and your tears and your brokenness is about to pay off cause God said so tell them say, but cause God said so Tell them you can go ahead and cry. You can go ahead and shed those tears because there's a blessing behind every tear. There's an anointing behind every tear. Somebody that just needs to give God a scream, give it to him. Come on, out of your belly. It's a wonderful, 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 wonderful show. God told me to tell you, you don't have to wait for the test results. You don't have to wait on the doctor. You don't have to wait on the diagnostics. God said, I'm picking up your case today. I'm picking up your file today. I'm taking your situation personal now. Since you want to live and not die, I'm going to give you something to live for. I'm going to give you something to live with. I'm going to give you something to live by. I need all the people that want to live, give God a living praise. Give him a living praise. I don't want, I don't want to die sick. I don't want to live sick. I don't want to walk sick. I don't want to live broke. I don't want to act broke. I don't want to be a... It's come over, over, over me. Now, 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 I'm going to say this one more time. Listen to me, listen to me. When I get ready to pray, as I'm praying, the yoke and the spirit of resentfulness 
is going to be uprooted in your heart. You're getting ready to go into a season where you're going to be too grateful to be hateful. I'm going to say it one more time. You're going to be too grateful. Hey, hey! See, that, that's my gratefulness coming out. At any given time, sis, I'm subject to shout. I don't care if it's at Walmart. Hey! I don't care if it's at Walmart, Starbucks, Target. I get a I, that gratefulness hits me and the reason why that gratefulness hits me is because the hatefulness doesn't have me see this is what I asked God to do I asked him in 2018 don't just bless me but bless me to be a blessing and you can't bless people when you're hateful look at somebody and tell them get over it because you got out of it. Tell him one more time, get over it because you got out of it. And had God not brought you out of it, you wouldn't be able to get over it. Anybody that's at this altar, God got you out of something, would you give God praise and forget the people that dropped you and the people that neglected you and the people that abandoned you and the people that walked away from you and the people that stepped over you? resentfulness because when Joe gets his promotion the very ones who did him in the ones that started this in the first place he could have had them executed but when you are a blessing because you've been blessed, you learn how to pray for them. Y'all ain't talking back to me. I don't just want to be cancer free. I want to be hate free. I want to be anger free. In just 20 seconds, get the hand of the person on either side. all resentment all anger all disappointment is going to be relieved and that yoke is going to be broken on you too you're about to be blessed to be a blessing spirit of the living God I declare your name among this congregation in this sacred place on these holy grounds and as I've, re I've completed my assignment that every form of witchcraft, every form of curse, every form of transgression would be removed from the people of God at this altar. That whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And like you broke the chains of Joseph, break the chains of these believers that they will never be bound that they will never be captive that they will never be prisoners that they will never be slaves to resentment to anger to anxiety to frustration or disappointment for our hope is in you you are the lifter of our heads it is you we live and move and have our being and we're able to look to the hills from which cometh our help, all of our help comes from you. And so we declare every yoke to be broken, every generational yoke, every relational yoke, every mental yoke, every yoke to be broken now in the name that is above every name. Sick 
has no place in this place. Disease has no place in this place. Debt has no place in this place. This is the place of grace and release your grace among your people from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet and let their weeping turn into worship. Let their weeping turn into worship. Let their weeping turn into worship and we are duty bound to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise because we are free. 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 Every free person. Give God a free play. On your way back to your seat, tell somebody we are free. Welcome to Theta Thirst, it's the Theta Experience. Welcome to Theta Thirst, it's the Greater Experience. Welcome to Greater Thirst, it's the Greater Experience. Welcome to Greater Thirst, it's the Greater your praise right quick and let this witch know let this demon or devil know welcome to greater thirst it's the greater experience 